what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video going to be covering my updated hydra army and using it in legends league and showing you guys three triples today on how this army could still be relevant and i don't even have nearly close to a max to count on this town hall 16 and i also don't have the king's gauntlet as well so if you have a max 16 and the king's gauntlet the attack gets even better from there let's get right into the action All right, on this first attack, we have this diamond style base. This base is pretty easy to hit with this army, especially with the Sarch. Uh, we're just going to come from the opposite corner, and we're going to try to land the blimp on the CC. Uh, we are bringing one freeze just to make sure we can freeze the sweeper. But with the way a lot of people have set up now for uh, like the, the closer Sarches because of Root Riders, a lot of these back end uh, blimps are pretty much uninterrupted and you can get there with no problem so you see we're gonna do a little mini funnel king queen uh baby dragon rc on the other side put the main army in the very corner and just push the main army through get a good warden ability so that we can defend everything as we get through the beginning part of the space and we quickly take out you know the eagle and all the defenses over there pretty fast we're gonna get our sarge down get our invisibilities going clones going rage going and end up taking up the town hall and the monolith i actually love that the monolith's right there because as we destroy the town hall the monolith is going to get destroyed as well and the super archer is going to pick up and some pretty good value for us um in the middle part of this base gonna get the spell towers pop too they were only rage towers so not as much to deal with and this base is already absolutely crushed uh we still got the queen alive with her ability still got plenty of troops alive too all we gotta do to get through is the back end barbarian king which usually is the best air defense in the game but um when you got a minute to get through that troop it's it's not too much to worry about so this one don't make it more complicated than it has to be come from the corner land on that cc compartment this is an old town hall 14 base we saw a lot in that meta some town hall 15 too uh this one's pretty simple to get to crush for a three star all right on this second attack we have this ring style base thought this one was kind of interesting because we had all four of the heroes like on the very out part of the base um don't normally see that too often but yeah we have this ring style base which normally are not the easiest bases to hit um but we do end up smashing this one pretty good i'm actually going to use the blimp before i even use the main army um you kind of have that option when you bring the rocket loons you can use the rocket loons in front of the blimp get the blimp where you need it to be and take out as much as you possibly can before deploying the main army um so we get the blimp on top of the eagle artillery which is gonna allow us to take out the eagle and some surrounding defenses we actually don't take out the town hall um which might happen sometimes because we are bringing a freeze instead of a sixth invisibility spell but that's okay i mean we got the main part of this base destroyed and we have a really good funnel created so we're gonna use our king queen up top super wall breaker to get in and then we're gonna drop the main army right here and push into that town hall compartment and just drive down through the middle of that base we got the town hall we got the monolith a couple poison towers to get through uh we do use the ward ability a tad early but i wanted to make sure all my balloons were covered under that ability at least for the moment that way they could push into the base a little further look for seeking air mines uh before my dragons got there because the balloons were in front of my dragons we do end up using the rc down here on the right side of the base just to push up in that way all the dragons and stuff would drive into this middle part of the base and take out the heavy hitting defenses that were left and then the king and queen can just keep circling around like they are and continue to clean up the rest of the base but this one pretty much is already smashed um if we would have had the six invisibility i think we get down the town hall but it's not the end of the world i like bringing the freeze just because you never know when you're going to need it for the air or the air sweeper and you want to make sure your blimp can get in the right spot especially if you're using the warden ability you don't want any hiccups to cause uh unnecessary one stars on this third attack we have another box style not really a ring base but a box style base town hall in the middle of the base though usually when you see these bases you got the town hall um on the outer part of the base but we actually had town hall in the middle 
We got Eagle and the Monolith stacked right on top of each other. That was where I decided I wanted to try to get somewhat close. So the Tesla slowed down my rocket balloons, which that's gonna help. That's gonna happen sometimes. So just take as much value as I could possibly get. I only wanted to land on top of the Eagle, so I just didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, but we're still gonna get all the value I pretty much wanted to get, except for maybe the Monolith. No, we actually end up getting the monolith so we got all the value we wanted to get i mean we got 25 percent done and we got plenty of funneling we're gonna start king queen or drop the main troops right here you can see the funnel we created we're gonna go king queen just to keep the dragons pushing in towards the town hall uh with the warden and we're gonna have the rc with the king and queen as well and now at this point we're just gonna push the dragons in we ended up saving the freeze which is actually nice so we can use the freeze on the town hall when it activates that way we don't have to use the warden ability as early we could save the warden ability for just a little longer because we had to get through an ice golem then we end up using the warden ability as that one of the ice golems is uh finally destroyed and our dragon riders are going to target that town hall take that down actually while our other dragons are going down south which was perfect so we're not going to lose as many troops to that town hall poison um, or get slowed down by it at all and at this point the base i mean we're pretty much we're pretty much crushed uh king doesn't really know what he wants to do uh he was beating on a wall now he's gonna walk around um i'm pretty sure he just starts targeting another wall uh instead of yep yep we're just gonna target a new wall now uh with, with no buildings in that compartment shout out to the king um and he's actually gonna beat down on a couple walls as my army continues to go up through queen and the baby dragon and uh some dragons but the warden gonna continue to just destroy this base uh king's gonna find another wall to attack uh shout out to the king maybe it's the skin i'm using maybe it's the golem the golem king skin i don't know um but that king was a, a little confused but hey he got the sweeper force at the very end uh so and i think he actually gets the spell tower too so can't be too upset at him um but it's just kind of more funny than anything Ended up finding his way to the last two buildings at the very end. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping by every day and supporting the channel. Had a lot of fun with this army and enjoying using it in Legends League. Getting a lot of high two stars. So I just wish my army was maxed because I really feel like if my army was maxed, I'd be pushing for a lot more triples. We'll catch you next time.